If you're a Tractor fan, you've been eating well over the last few years and let me explain why. So from 2006 to 2018, 12 years, all you got is one tractor and that is this guy right here. He's looked the same, he's been colored the same, same expression, but he gets the job done. I mean, this is how they look in the movie. I get it. It's a solid release, very unique, very classic, iconic of the Cars franchise, right? And okay, cool. I've accumulated a few tractors now. They did the Tractor Stampede 5 pack. I got two there. Got one from 2006. I got three now. I'm chilling, right? Well, here's another one for you. In 2018, they released him as a deluxe from the Radiator Springs Classic line. And you got him with a slightly different expression. That's a win, right? Eh, it's not too different, but it's different. Yeah, cool. All right, nice. And then, oh my gosh, what's going on here? Factory Customs. You got green tractor, because that totally makes sense. Green with brown spots. Yeah, okay, I guess. Why not? You got the Dairy Queen tractor here. This is actually like the cow tractor. I love this one. <laughs> And these are all factory customs. And so is the pail tractor back here who just sits under the tree all day. You know, you can see here that most of the other tractors get a little bit more sun than this one does. But yeah, he's kind of a little younger tractor anyways. Hopefully he gets out there more. And then, of course, the racing tractors. Jesus in the morning. There's been a ton of those. Like four of them were canceled as well. So yeah, over the last like three years, I think there's been seven to eight maybe even nine tractors just from mattel and then if you count the factory customs you're over 10 which is just ooh, mind blowing so many tractors and here we are with yet another new tractor always innovating always keeping us on our toes with tractor with tire in moth horrible name super clunky as i talked about in my unboxing of case k which is where this guy came from i'll leave the link for that in the description below and card session pop up great case this is the last car though. I'll be reviewing from it for a little bit of time. Now, George Nguyen, the Thailand variant, I'd like to review at some point, but he's very similar to the Chinese release. Unlike Flipped Over, they were drastically different, those two. So we're gonna probably hold off on doing George for a little bit and just you know, move over to Dana Krenkoff, Birth of Butters Wagon. We're going to do some cars on the road stuff because all nine episodes drop on September 8th. So we gotta get ready for that. And yeah, I got some other fun stuff planned, but yeah, this is going to be the last review because yeah, pretty much done it all now. It's a great case and it supplied like a week's worth of content. But yeah, here we go with tractor with tire and model. I'm just going to call him hungry tractor because that just makes more sense. Tractor with tire would have sufficed as well. I mean, we could tell it's in his mouth. You know, you don't really have to explain that to us. We're not that stupid. Tractor con pneumatico in la boca. Oh my God. All right, new for 2022, awesome. Good to see that logo that they're using now consistently, hopefully, because they had not been consistent. They used it in 2021. They missed a couple, I think, that year. Then this year, they started off not really using it except on the Mater with the tow hook pack and didn't do it for Keith Cohn, didn't do it for Bertha or those guys. And now it's back, so hopefully it stays that way. And this is the first time Mattel has done just like a regular cow tractor from Thailand. Obviously, all of the racing tractors were from Thailand. And this was bound to happen. But they got the movie wrong. They've been really good about getting the movie on the back of the packaging right. One of the ones they got wrong was indeed Murray Clutchburn here. Because even though he does appear in Cars 3, this is not the version that does. And tractor, Hungry Tractor here is in Cars 1. The only tractors from Cars 3 are the ones that are racing with Cruz and McQueen. And none of them just happen to be chowing down on a tractor mid-race. You have Paul Conrad, Barry the Pedal, and George Newen here on the back. Again, George is in case K with them. Barry is in J, which is the weird one we talked about before. Paul Conrad was in G, and these ones have been in a bunch. But yeah, I'll be right back with TWTIM <laughs> TWT out of the package. Jesus, in the morning. So yeah, this guy appears in an iconic scene in the first Cars movie during the tractor stampede of Radiator Springs when about probably 20 or so tractors just barge into town, driving everywhere, messing up Red's flowers, messing up the paint on the road, and of course, 
chewing on Luigi's tires. Very funny scene when Luigi's like, here, chew on the snow tires. I love that. Oh my God. I can't believe I remember all these just lines. Oh my God. Just that's my childhood right there. And so, yeah, pretty fun stuff. I'm going to try and recreate that scene for the thumbnail. So we'll see how that guys, you guys already know how that went based on, you know, clicking on the video, but I haven't taken the thumbnail yet. I hope it comes out well. I think it has potential to be pretty cool. I'm going to try and put Luigi in there as well. But yeah, really nice. I love how he looks. Now, before we get into it, I just want to say, so you guys know how they aren't doing series anymore. They stopped after 2020. No series in the main line. But it seems like they still kind of follow series for their releases. Like A lot of the releases are related. You know, we just reviewed Colin Bowrev. Him and Rebney Grante appear in the exact same scenes. What scene is that? Well, it's like the Cars 2 Radiator Springs scenes. And so who else have they released from that? Well, you got Mel Dorado, who's on the TV. You got Mather with Balloon. You got Artist Ramon. You got Otis, all of which are from the exact same scenes. And they've done that series before. It's called Number 95 Returns from 2016, where they also released Mather with Balloon and Otis. Who else did they do that year? I don't think they did Mel Dorado. Mel Dorado show was a series in 2013 where they originally released Body Shop Ramon, which is the artist Ramon with the paint gun. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is that this one here is probably from the Imaginary Funny Flashback series. So that would also include Wasabi Mouth Mather, Kerr with Bug Teeth, Bug Mouth Lightning McQueen. There might have been another one in there as well, but yeah, these are the ones that are iconically funny, I guess you would say. And so that was the series that only was in 2020. And who else was in the 2020 flashback series? Funny flashback series. Well, it was Doc with Tire. And looky, looky, their tires are very, very similar. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Doc's is a little bit bigger, a little thicker. But these are the two like that you'll notice like that are very similar. Like The tire accessories they release are always like this. And they don't look anything like the ones here. And so I wanted to point that out. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if Mattel or whoever, I think, yeah, Disney, eh, maybe they had to get the art from Disney and Pixar, but they certainly didn't get an art for, I'm surprised, honestly, that the art on this packaging shows Tractor with the tire because when they released Doc with the tire, it was just the regular Fabulous Hudson Hornet artwork. So I'm glad, I don't know, I'm glad that they included some new artwork for us instead of just the regular tractor art, which I would not have been surprised if they used. And speaking of regular tractor, on the card backs of many of the Cars 1 releases this year, you do see on the back, regular tractor. And so it might have just been the placeholder for this guy, because I don't think we are getting a regular tractor this year. I think this was the guy. This is the man, the man, the myth, the legend. All right, so it seems like their expression is emulating the 2018 tractor instead of the original. You can see the eyes are a little bit raised. It doesn't look as sleepy. It looks a little bit more alert, which makes sense because you know he's stampeding in the town. He's not out there sleeping, just trying to get tipped. <laughs> they really should do like a crazy tractor expression at some point, like mid tippage, you know, like right as Mater like tipped him with those crazy eyes. You know, you're just waking up and you're all flabbergasted but yeah i really do like the look of him his mouth is kind of open on the side there and they just wedge the tire in there it is a plastic piece and the tractor is die cast this part down here the base is plastic that weirdly colored that's weird tan doesn't look too good with the other tan that they use which is kind of like a salmon color almost these fenders are plastic yeah, the tire even has treads, which is really cool. It's very thin. And comparing it to the China tractor here, the color has changed a little bit. I feel like they upped like the saturation. Like you know how in photos you can change like a bunch of things. You can like sepia, tint, temperature, all that stuff, heat, whatever. This is like they just up the <laughs> saturation or the contrast too. Saturation and contrast because all the colors are way purer than they are on the 2018 tractor. And for that matter, the previous versions as well. The smokestacks are different colors here, and I'm cool with that. Like All tractors aren't going to be identical. It's funny though, a lot of their patterns are typically identical. You can see the spots are on the same spots. <laughs> the blotches are in the same spots. 
I do like how they do the windows now though. I'm not a fan of that chip, but you got the gray outline. Just looks a little bit more defined compared to this where you don't really have an outline. The spots do look pretty solid. They seem to be a little bit more realistic with some missing gaps in there, a little bit of texture. He's got a really nice matte finish, which you can feel. Let's take a look at the other. <laughs> R22A, made during the 22nd week. Come on, Mattel, why do you have to invade his privacy by freaking <laughs> branding him right by his other? How rude is that? Wow, they did it here too. Wow, look at all the stuff on the base, base, base. Wow. This one seems to have less stuff on the base. Made in Thailand. One rivet. Yeah, tractors are really iconic. It's like the symbol of the spirit animal of the Cars franchise. Like even if you're just a casual Pixar fan or even if you're just like, you've seen Cars once, like you remember the tractors. You know Kachow. I feel like everyone like I meet who like knows about Cars, it's like they know Mater, they know Kachow, and they know about tractors. It's like they don't even really know about Lightning McQueen or the Piston Cup or some other things you think are more iconic or prominent they know those three things and tow mater is always like the most prominent one which is weird to me but i just think it's because he is just so like he's a mood right mater is a mood as one may say as the kids say these days also i want to note that the tires are gray now instead of black which is interesting i don't really mind but yeah you could definitely see a notable color difference between the two there and yeah guys that is pretty much it Bring up the whole squad here. You guys let me know in the comment section below. Are you, I don't know, what, what's a good question to ask you guys? I mean, obviously if I were to ask, what's your favorite tractor? It's kind of a stupid question. How could you compare regular tractor and tractor with tire in mouth? It's like, I mean, they're incomparable. It's like one's in addition, I don't know. You got badass big boy Frank here. You got the pale tractor. You got all these weirdly colored <laughs> factory customs. We're due for another weird colored one. I wouldn't be surprised if they did like a one with like a green one with black spots. I would not be surprised. You got white spots, you got brown spots. Would not be surprised if you get a green one with black spots. And who knows? I mean, I don't want to like say this because I think it'd be ridiculous, but maybe even like a white one with green spots. Would not be surprised. Maybe a white one with brown spots. A white one with brown spots would be pretty cool. And it's so funny, it's like so iconic because everyone sees like these Chinese eBay listings and they're listed as Uncle Cow. It's like, I know these Chinese sellers don't speak like great English, but like how does that translate over? Like how does tractor translate to Uncle Cow? Like where does uncle come from? Maybe somebody who speaks Chinese would know. Maybe there's some sort of intricacy to the language. I don't know, but yeah, Uncle Cow, <laughs> there you go. The whole fam is here for dinner. And of course, Daddy Frank is here to mediate. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon for another video. Bye now.